What is going on ladies and stealth men? My name is Stealth Fang and today I'm going to be giving you guys an updated tutorial to get the best sound quality out of your microphone if you're commentating on YouTube and the microphone I would recommend for anybody who's starting a YouTube channel or if you have if you don't have the budget right now I would recommend the blue snowball but if you have the money for it I'd go, go ahead and get the blue Yeti so guys for today's tutorial and the program we are going to be using is going to be audacity I will provide the link to the download in the description below so anyway anyways guys let's go ahead and get started so now when you open up audacity after you finish installing it and everything now you're gonna always want to go ahead and check the project rate now depending on what microphone you're using I'm using the blue Yeti the best sound quality if you want uh, for at least uh, DVD quality would be 48,000 for the project rate and then if you want to go ahead and get studio quality I'd recommend 192,000 though depending on the file size or um, wherever you're recording it I'd recommend doing it in a quiet place so that you want the best possible sound out of it but for right for right now I'd recommend 48,000 just so you, it doesn't take too long to edit but anyways guys right after that you're gonna want to go ahead and set the sound that you're hearing right now so if you're hearing something from your blue Yeti as you're talking then you're gonna uh, select speakers Yeti stereo microphone but you want to select your default sound from your uh, speakers from your laptop or desktop then you want to go into your microphone that you want to record from so now if you don't see this available over here let's say you put in your microphone and it's not there I'd recommend going to here oh see if you want to go here playback devices and you want to go and just like the um, your speakers where you're hearing from you can set it to default over here and then recording you can set your microphone to default over here so you can see that my voice is coming in and my internal mic which is from my laptop is over there and is not set to default so now after you do that you want to go ahead and make sure this is two stereo input you don't want to do it mono you want to do two stereo input and right now we're gonna go ahead and let's go and let's say let's just record something neat so anyways let's see ice ice icicles spec spec spectacles test 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 one two all right so now that we've done that we have our sound over here so now let's listen to it ice ice icicles Spec, spec, spectacles, test, test, test one, two. Now that sounded pretty good, but it could sound even better. So now what you want to go ahead and do is that you want to select the first part. Sometimes if you're recording, you want to like leave a little space, maybe five seconds of silence. I forgot to mention that before, but you want to leave five seconds of silence or minimum should be three to five seconds so that you pick up any background noise that's going on. So that could be fans or anything and then you want to go to effect over here effect noise removal now depending on what version you're using it might say noise reduction but it's still the same thing so don't worry about it then you want to click you want to copy these settings over here and make sure to click remove make sure it's not checked to isolate I've made the mistake in the past before by clicking isolate but it was only one time make sure to copy these settings down and click get noise profile so now it's connected it's wow geez it's collected the noise over here and then you want to go and click click here or just hit control a effect noise removal then click ok so now you can see those little dots that appeared over here are now gone that was due to background noise and then right after that you want to go ahead and go to effect hold on it makes it to select it again um i believe if you do you don't have to select it for this but i just go ahead just to be um cautious about this but just select the whole thing then you hit effect compressor and then you want to go ahead copy these settings make sure the threshold negative 16 decibels noise floor negative 40 decibels and ratio 2 to 1 attack time 0.2 seconds decay time 1.0 seconds and make sure to select make up gain for 0 decibels after compressing you click OK and then after that you want to go to equalization now you want to go ahead make sure to check over here select curve bass boost click OK and then you want to do go back to equalization once more then you want to go to treble boost click OK and then right after that you want to go ahead and select normalize make sure the first two boxes are checked and set it to negative one decibel 
all right now after that you want to go to select at the bottom make sure to hit this arrow over here if it doesn't show up for you it's don't worry it's over here at the bottom hit hard limiter and then you want to set the decibel limit to negative four just for the best quality i had to like fool around with it and negative four in between maybe negative six is better like just two places um down or up depending on how you see it but negative four is what i tend to do then you click okay and then right after that you want to go ahead and hit effect and then normalize okay now let's listen to that sound quality once more ice ice icicles spec spec spectacles test 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 one two all right so that's pretty much it that's pretty much how i um go and edit my audio sometimes depending on what it is if i'm using my blue yeti i'll set the gain down to about seven o'clock if you're looking at it um on a normal clock that little black dash makes sure to set it to seven o'clock but sometimes you also want to make sure that your microphone input volume which is over here you want to also make sure sometimes like mine is set to 0.80 just for this tutorial but in general or normally i'll set it to like 0.64 right over here just to be sure to get um some good quality out of it if i want to record like long term uh videos or commentary but guys that's pretty much it and after you're finished you go to file export la 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 and depending on how large or how no how long the video is you want to go ahead and like um say, set it to wav not do not do mp3 unless you want to go and like put like multiple audio timelines together then you want to hit mp3 but make sure to hit wav sign 16 16 bit and then file name we're just going to name this tutorial and you can save it anywhere anywhere and then uh, normally i just have it like um either in a separate folder for whatever i'm doing like you can see my undertale recordings over here and my edits and then i'll go ahead and click save and then you can name hit artist name track title album title track number year genre comments and that's pretty much it so you can just set like type whatever you want over there 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 and there and click ok and then because of it was literally how many how long was it like at least maybe 13 point something seconds uh says something yeah it says right here in the bottom 13.827 seconds or about just that but then you just want to go ahead and like open it from wherever it was in the folder and it'll pretty much be there so um that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys i will be making another tutorial based on um the best like way in order to not like go through all of that you can it's almost like it's doing it by itself but it's way easier for you just up until until you get to hard limiter and the last normalize but anyways guys if this tutorial did help you guys please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel and if this tutorial helped so until next time stealth out